They're $2,000 paperweights. I've never seen a mandibular advancement device be successful. And I've had a lot of frustrated patients that didn't want to do CPAP and came back to me later that went and got talked into getting a mandibular advancement device. And they paid for it. Now it's a paperweight. Some people refuse and say, well, I just want a wedge. I just want to have a hospital bed that keeps me elevated at greater than 30 degrees, and I want to have a side wedge. Those folks are going to come back to you after they've had a stroke or a heart attack or a congestive heart failure. You're not going to fix them with positional or uh, wedges or those kind of things. It's just the airway is still going to collapse. Any questions on apnea or apnea treatment? And you guys are going to be sleep specialists. Movement disorders. We'll do this and then we'll take a little break. So restless limb. Restless leg is a misnomer. Restless leg syndrome is actually restless limb syndrome because it can, it can uh, manifest itself in either of the arms or either of the legs. Now, direct-to-consumer marketing has done a great job at making you think that this is a new condition that they have some fancy new drugs to treat. Restless leg syndrome and restless limb syndrome was initially discussed in early Greek times. It ain't new, pharmaceutical companies. It's been around forever. And, despite popular belief on the television and pharmaceutical representatives, the large majority of restless limb syndrome patients are secondary causes. That's not a primary disorder in the far majority of patients. Most common cause. Remember this. Type it down. I used to say write it down. Type it down. Anemia. Anemia will induce all the symptoms of restless limb. Very common. Female patients, still menstruating, will come in here and complain of this. CBC is not going to be your answer. You have to check a ferritin level. Did you all talk about ferritin? Iron storage. It needs to be above 50. As close to 100 as possible if you're going to supplement. But below 50 with the symptoms, treat the low ferritin level. When you treat with iron, what should you always pair it with? Vitamin C. Helps the absorption. And I prefer ferrous gluconate instead of ferrous sulfate. People tolerate it better. Ferrous gluconate is no longer a prescriptive. You can get it over the counter. It's a little easier on the belly. So when you supplement, you always supplement vitamin C with iron if you're going to treat, and then you recheck the ferritin level. Um, so basically, restless limb gets worse in the evening. As we're trying to rest, it gets better with activity. Okay. Commonly, secondary to anemia, but there are certain drugs that will also induce it. Old school antihistamines will induce restless limb symptoms. Certain cardiovascular drugs will induce restless limb symptoms. So you have to look at a patient's drug list when they come complaining of these things. Don't just give them benzodiazepines or Time release gabapentin or whatever else is the newest, greatest thing to treat restless leg and treat the, treat the underlying cause first. You can have restless limb and periodic limb movements. What is the difference? Periodic limb movements happen during sleep and patients are unaware of them. Restless limb patients are aware and will complain of them. Patients will not complain of periodic limb movements. Their bed partners will. Periodic limb movements are commonly associated with untreated apnea. Why? I'm trying to keep muscle tone. And by doing so, I'm ballet in the bed. And so, patients are not aware of their bed ballet, but their spouses or their loved ones or their bed partners are. You can have periodic limb movement disorder without restless limb disorder, 
You can have restless limb disorder without periodic limb movement disorder, but they can be concomitant. You can see periodic limb movement disorder in restless limb folks. Okay? They're aware of restless limb, they're unaware of the periodic limb movements. Periodic limb movements, you're going to treat the underlying condition as you are in the restless limb folks. Okay? Take a break. <laughs>